How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about the best exercises for the short head and the long head of the bicep. Before we begin though, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me or buying some cool fitness gear, have a look in my description box for those details. So let's get started with a little bit about the anatomy so you guys can understand the mind-muscle connection when you're performing the movements. So there's two heads to your biceps. You got the short head, which is on the inside of your arm. So if you got that big, uh, big thick bicep muscle belly, you guys, when you're doing the front double by, chances are you have a very good, very good short head. Now the outside or the long head of your bicep, again, is gonna be on the outside. So it's gonna be this muscle right in here, you guys. So the outside of your bicep. This is the long head right in here, you guys. Uh, so it's generally used when you're doing a double back by, you can really see the long head working. So the long head will also help with your bicep peak as well. So if you guys have not that good of a bicep peak, but your arms look pretty big when you're doing your front double by, chances are your long head could use a little bit more effort. And yes, you can emphasize more uh, on one than the other. I know a lot of people say when you do your biceps, they just contract. Yes, that's true, they contract, but you can still put a little more emphasis on the long head than the short head, but again, both will contract. So if you're working your long head, you are working your short head to a little bit of a degree. Same if you're working your short head, your long head is also getting worked to a little bit of a degree. So your short head, you guys, this originates from your scapula and your chest clavicle, and it runs down to your radius, which is the forearm bone, you guys. Your long head originates from the front of the scapula, wraps around the bicepital groove, and then it comes down into your radius. That's just a little bit of anatomy, you guys. Hopefully I didn't confuse you. Um, Anyways, the best exercise for the long head is going to be anything that we're doing that has our shoulders in extension. So what I mean by this is this is forward flexion, you guys. This is 90 degrees of forward flexion, 180 degrees of forward flexion. This is zero degrees of flexion, we're neutral. So extension would be anything behind our arm. So this is really gonna work the long head of the bicep when we are in extension. So as you guys can guess, the best exercises are going to be when we are doing incline dumbbell curls. So when we are laying on a bench, you guys, when we are sitting on the bench and we're laying back and our biceps here and we're doing our curls, this is gonna put a ton of emphasis on the long head of the bicep and it's really gonna grow it. So if you guys are having some issues, I highly, highly recommend that you guys do the incline dumbbell curl. And I can show you guys on a bench, the incline, the, the way that you do the incline, it doesn't have to be super crazy. Again, as long as your body is in some shoulder extension, like so, see how it's behind? When I'm performing this movement now, sorry, this dumbbell is pretty big. I am focusing all on the long head of the bicep, you guys. And that's really what's gonna allow me to get that peak contraction and really develop the long head of my bicep. So that exercise is gonna be number one. Um, not number one, but one of the number ones that you can do. Another great exercise for developing the long head is gonna be the barbell or dumbbell drag curl. So all a drag curl is, you guys, is you simply get the barbell or the dumbbell and you keep it right next to your body the whole time. That's why they call it a drag curl. And when you're performing this, your biceps are gonna get extremely pumped and you're really gonna develop the long head again. So when performing this movement again, make sure the bar or the dumbbell is rubbing across your body the whole time. Never let it get in front of you. You want it to the side and rubbing the whole time. This is gonna really develop that long head of the bicep. Um, so again, anything that has shoulder extension, like the drag curl or the incline curl is going to work the long head and put more emphasis on that. The best exercises for the short head is going to be anything that has our shoulder in flexion, you guys, anything in flexion. So that's gonna be the preacher curl. And you can actually do a preacher curl on a bench. You do not need an actual preacher curl machine. So when I do my preacher curls, I will just use a typical bench like this. I will get a dumbbell or a barbell, whichever one I want. 
And all I'm gonna do is stick my arm here like so, and then perform the preacher curls like so. A phenomenal exercise. And again, we have our shoulder in front of us. This is really gonna allow some beefy size to the short head of our bicep. So preacher curls, I love the preacher curls. Um, concentration curls as well. So you can sit on a bench and what you're going to do, again, you're gonna keep the dumbbell in front of you. So our shoulder is in flexion, it's in front of our body. And now we can control the tempo. We're gonna put our elbow on our knee and all we're gonna do is we're gonna curl you guys. This is really gonna work the inside of the short head, the inside of the bicep, the short head. And by doing the concentration curl, I love this exercise because you get a different angle than what's mostly common with bicep exercise. You get a different angle and by putting it downward and having it on your knee, you can control the tempo of it as well. Woo, almost fell back there. So basically anything that has your biceps in extension, your shoulders in extension is gonna work the long head. Anything with your shoulders in front of you generally is gonna work the shorter head of the bicep. It's very important to develop both of these exercises. If you're trying to do this in a workout plan, I recommend that you guys really emphasize on one head for one, for one cycle, such as six to eight weeks, and then the next six to eight weeks, try to focus on a different one. So right now what I'm doing is I'm doing half chin-ups for my cycle, and this is gonna hit the short head of my bicep. After eight weeks, you guys, I'm gonna come over to the incline dumbbell curl and focus on that, which is gonna put more emphasis on my bicep peak. So end of video, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the support. Subscribe to my channel again if you haven't already. Like the video and share it. Follow me on Instagram, dylanberg999. Thanks.